I mean, we had such a in such a conversation about the vaccine yesterday. It really, originally started with masks because uh, the county where we are has mandated that you must wear a mask indoors starting tomorrow, and so that I was really upset by that. I, I just didn't like it. It's like ah, what a step backwards, you know. It just feels like such a defeat when that mm-hmm. happens. Not, I mean, I'm not against wearing a mask per se. If you go into Walmart or the gym or wherever, it's not about the the physical. Uh, you know, inconvenience of it. It's just about God. What a step backwards, you know. Yeah, you have to do it, but nobody wants. Nobody to do wants it. to do it. And um, you know, Biggie was saying. Of course, we got a lot of support. We had one person in particular call very early, and he said it was a pandemic, and uh, he you know didn't think it was real, and all of those things, you know. And I argued with him, and a lot of people corresponded with us and said to me, "You're right." And good for you. And then the other half said, you're an idiot. And 50, that, guy, 50. that guy was very 50, 50. All, all right down the middle. And uh, Biggie says one of the reasons that he is so pro vaccine, you just said this to him, is that, you know, so many people get COVID who are unvaccinated and go to the hospital. You can't even have a heart attack. No. Right now. <laughs> and you really, by mm-hmm. all right, should be having a heart attack right you, now. Yeah. <laughs> if no one else has earned a heart attack. Over the pandemic. And I'm going back to March of 20. Yes. It's this man. You Mm -hmm. earned the right to have a heart attack. Uh Who did less? No one. No one has done less. Who had more delivered? No one. Nobody. No one. Now, let me say that in in 2020, I did pick up a second job. That almost gave me a heart attack. Almost killed you. That did almost kill me. I was working all the time. That's right. Now I've pretty much figured out this year how to just never leave. That's right. uh, Which might give me a heart attack from lack of movement. But all I'm saying is, if your unvaccinated ass keeps me <laughs> your having a well-earned heart attack, <laughs> that's right. My that's fat right. ass having a well-earned heart attack, right. I'm gonna be pissed. That's a lot of people. Can, if you, I die mm-hmm. outside the hospital oh, yeah. of a heart attack, that's right. I'm gonna be pissed. That, oh yeah, you are. Mm-hmm. I, I think, think the odds on that's mm-hmm. pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> let him do that around me. Uh huh. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> or, let him let him slouch there on the mm-hmm. sidewalk in front. Now I won't be there. I'm, I'm not going. No, 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 no. Even if you were, you couldn't take him to the hospital. I, I, you know, a lot of people emailed me how wrong I was, and I would go back and say, "But the stats and this and that," and and then they'd come back and say, "Well, look at Biggie's fat ass." And I was like, well, "Excuse me, excuse me, so you I, do I, not. This, we're not arguing about that. That's right. That's, that is a <laughs> okay? separate. I'm not form. claiming I'm not fat. <laughs> okay? Tell Biggie's fat ass to lose some weight. <laughs> no, oh, no, that, fat, that fat was pre-COVID. <laughs> no, that's right. He's not always a, had that. Not up in here. Yeah. Don't you <laughs> dare come to me with that now. Uh. Uh-uh. Hey, they always have that on mm-hmm. you, and that's not right. That's where everybody goes. Mm-hmm. Everybody right. goes to the fat. That's why I can't wait till the end of our thousand dollar, thousand pound weight loss. <laughs> when you're a bean pole in that's here, right. you can say used to be, used mm-hmm. to be fat. That should be you. Yeah, who was? Which one of you wanted to be the Rock? I'm gonna be the Rock. Well, well, who's Biggie's uh, ideal? What are you gonna be, John Cena? Cena. <laughs> Cena. Thank you. Yeah. Cena and the Rock in here. That's what. We're, that's, right. that's right. I need. A, by the way, Christian will be good at this. Uh, my fantasy football league, which I got dragged back into. I mean, knew that was going to happen. Yeah. Three yeah, days no ago, surprise. you were out. Yeah, yeah, you I was teased out. us I was hoping you'd be days. stronger than that. No, you're just not. I'm back in. As a trilateral? Y- y- yes. I'm you, one of the need, you couldn't even give a, your mm-hmm. position as I'm a, a commissioner. I'm a commissioner. But the com- one of the commissioners has said that it used to, the league used to be, and we took a year off, you had to have a patriotic name. So the names were like, all American pimps and stuff like that, you know. I was Mayberry that's Minutemen. Sweet, yeah. Chris <laughs> Dems. I was Mayberry Minutemen. Yeah, that's Chris, that Chris Dems' suggestion. I like that. Well, now I need one. Now this one, it's movie themed, so you can be anything. But you know, you can be anything mm. that's got to be based on a movie, huh. or anything in a movie, a key grip or a director. Oh. Or, you can do anything uh, as long as it's movie related. Huh. So think on that if you've got a good one okay. for me. How about Dirk Diggler's dongs. There you are, <laughs> Dirk Diggler's dongs. How about Pussy Galore? Yes. <laughs> But do those really fit me? Either one of them. Dirk Diggler's dog. I saw Dirk Diggler's fake dog. Dirk. <laughs> I what a great movie! I just watched it again the uh, other day. Yeah. What a great movie Boogie from night. start to finish. I'm it is. Be dirt it's Vickers long, but it's good. Dong. <laughs> That's a good idea. I like that one. Now, uh, if what if what if the family runs across emails? Yeah, there's a problem. Yeah. That's right. I saw we were talking about his fake dong recently. Mark Wahlberg played that character in Boogie Nights. Uh, the reason we brought it up is I had just read that, um, what's her name? Gwyneth Paltrow turned down the part that Heather Graham eventually got. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. she didn't want her grandfather to see her naked or uh, given oral in a movie. I thought Heather Graham was great in that part. Oh, she was. She was. She, she was, was terrific. Was. And uh, Paltrow said she was phenomenal. You know, I, I, she did it better than I could have done it. And, roller girl. Yeah, roller girl. Um, so a, a P1 listener sent me an interview on a, like the Tonight Show or one of the late night shows that Mark Wahlberg had done. 
And he said it was really embarrassing being fitted for that fake dong because he had to come out in full. I mean, he was completely naked. I'm gonna say, and yes. they built it around it. Somebody's got to. And the first one, they said it was too unrealistic looking. So he had, they had to take that off and replaster him. And again, it was all around. I mean, he was in full nudity in front of several people, like mm. trying to get it just right to fix it on there. So it was difficult I hope for him. He got to paid do. a lot of money. Well, I'm sure he did. And it did make his career. I mean, yeah. I think that was his first really big. I mean, when. I mean, you can tell, but I mean, at the end of the movie, it's, oh it's impressive. Oh, my <laughs> God. I mean, that's the final scene. It, yeah. Yeah. And, and it's the game. I mean, it's like, holy. Because you wonder the whole time. Now you know why. Yeah. He was mm-hmm. a porn. If you don't know the movie Boogie Nights, Mark Wahlberg plays a up and coming porn star. Burt Reynolds takes one look at it and says, oh, you're going to be a star. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? He looked at it and said, you're going to be a star. character is cast so perfectly. Oh, they're great. Right. Mm-hmm. John C. Riley, brilliant. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, young Philip Seymour Hoffman, Hoffman. is in it. Don falls Cheadle. In lo- falls in love with him, doesn't he? Yeah. 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 And he's, Seymour Hoffman. And, and uh, Wahlberg plays such a, he's so dumb, you know, but he's got that. He's huge, naive. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah. But he's a porn star. And uh, at the end, you finally get to see it because everybody talks about his package. William H. Macy's in it? Yes. <laughs> Do you think it would have been as good if Heather Graham had been out and Gwyneth Paltrow had been in? She's a good actress. Yeah, I think she would have been good in She'd that. Been good. Yeah. Yeah, she you wouldn't well. have known the difference, but Heather Graham's great. Here you are, Dave. Uh, this was Got this yesterday. Uh, they're talking about put up or shut up rock and roll trivia, throwback Thursday. Mm-hmm. And the question is, your life ends, and for whatever reason, you're in hell. Okay? You can probably name numerous <laughs> reasons. Right. Uh, the devil begins to lay down the terms of your afterlife. You are... To host a one-man radio show for the rest of time in hell. No one will ever hear the radio show but you, but you will never stop doing it, ever. The devil says you can have any year of music you want to play. He's in a forgiving mood. Yeah. He's like, I really hate to do this to you. <laughs> There's one gleam of hope. Yeah, one, uh, <laughs> it's near closing time. All right, I'll give you the year you want. <laughs> At least let me pick the year. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Servant. <laughs> Thank you, Dark God. Dark, Dark Master. Yes. So I said 84. Uh, Prince... Bruce Springsteen, Top Gun, uh, Top Gun sound, uh, Top Gun's eighty six. This is Footloose, oh, sound, you're right, you're right. Footloose soundtrack. Huey Lewis, some probably some good Huey Lewis in there. Eighty four is that the sports album I believe came out in eighty four. I want to say I'm not one hundred percent sure. Ooh, but he didn't get to the power of love until eighty five. That's when uh, that's when the Back movie. to the Future comes out. But I'm gonna one of those mid eighties. Eighty four, I think, would be my year. I love that year. Springsteen had a lot of great songs. Uh, probably. Yeah. What do you think, Dave? Chris Jim said maybe seventy six, maybe seventy. I was thinking seventy seven to seventy eight, probably mm-hmm. for me. That was his year. Mm-hmm. You still got some decent rock and roll you can play in there. Stones. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's rock and roll. You got a a, a, a hint of disco. You've got mm-hmm. some of our mellow seventies in there that were some hits. Yeah, you sure. like that. So it probably covers, mm-hmm. and you don't get any standards. You don't get any Frank Sinatra. No, no you don't get that. You won't have that. So you won't have that. Maybe 85. I mean, because that's Love that's more so when we I graduated high school. We built this city. Oh, uh, yeah, they have to play. I'm yeah. not playing that. You have to. It's that's my ringtone. <laughs> That's heavy rotation. You know we that. This. Hang on, I've got to so take I get this. To pick the- Hang on, just think about that year. Hang on. So my dark yeah. lord gets to pick the year. No, you get to pick. I mean, I get to pick the year, but I still have to play the to whole play, list. Play every song. Is it top one hundred mm-hmm. only? Yeah, top one hundred in that song in that year. Can I have some country? That's all you have. <laughs> yeah, some eighty-five country, maybe. So that's that's some pre- Barbara Mandrell. I'll tell you, that's pre Garth. I wouldn't mind having yeah. some Garth in there. What's too. what's? Uh, You're not going to get any Garth. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> What's mid '80s country? It's Barbara Mandrell and mid '80s country. The Dolly. Judds. How about Dolly? Yeah, Alabama. Judd, Judds. Yeah, Alabama's huge. Dolly's early '80s. The Judds. Oh, they're here. <laughs> <laughs> they're around the corner. Yeah. Hang on, let me get her. <laughs> hey, Naomi, got a fan. <laughs> Oh, I hope my daughter's not hearing this. She will be very, very upset. Yeah, she because, hears, she's oh, a, a jazz yeah. fan? Yeah. Oh, no. She, oh, 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 you know Satan. how she is yeah, about yeah, Satan. Yeah. Yeah. You don't mess with stuff she like gets, this. She's the get thee behind me. That's right. We've got to do a house cleansing <laughs> already. We're going to cleanse the house because of the strange noises in the house. So who's the next man to come hear the mystery noise? A uh, plumber is coming. That We're going to get a plumber because... Uh, I'll tell you what was going on, and if you've missed this, my attic, my daughter recorded this. We had some very strange sounds coming from my attic, and a lot of suggestions. She thought it was a poltergeist. These are the noises. You know, somebody said her brother messing with her. 
People have said animals and whatnot. And we had somebody come up and look at the air conditioning unit because they said that the pipe might be clogging like a uh, runoff pipe, condensation pipe. My wife was washing dishes and clothes at the same time. So the washing machine and the dishwasher were running at the same That's time. That's never happened. That's never <laughs> That is true. That's how you open the portal. <laughs> That's, ne- <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the prophecy is fulfilled. <laughs> Somebody's finally done it. <laughs> open the linen closet. <laughs> <laughs> that Honey, I'm home. <laughs> That's the Ghostbusters. <laughs> that and the two things happen at the same time. That's it. <laughs> So I'll call out a plumber, but that'll be to no avail, I'm sure. Have you tried to recreate? I'm going to do that Saturday. I told her, let's recreate it to see if we can do it again. Do that? That was a good suggestion, I thought. And one of the kids could take a shower or flush a toilet. I mean, yeah. mm-hmm. do what you can in a short period of time. See if we can make that noise again. And somebody stand near where you can hear it. Yeah, man. 